this video, we'll look at how to get connected to Groove Machine. The easiest way to connect to Groove Machine is by using your mouse. You can click on the controls to adjust them and click on these buttons to trigger whatever parts in focus. But to get the most out of Groove Machine, you'll want to play it from a MIDI controller. To connect a MIDI controller, click on the audio button at the top and select Audio and MIDI Options. Under the MIDI input device window, you should see your controller. Click the button next to the device you want to use, then close the window. If you're using Groove Machine as a plugin, the host program will take care of routing the MIDI data. In Fruity Loops, click on the Options menu and then select MIDI Settings. Select your device and click Enable. The last column should now display the word Active. If you don't see your controller, click the Rescan MIDI button. OK, now that MIDI data is flowing into Groove Machine, we can make it do all kinds of cool stuff. See these five control knobs at the top? They can be linked to any parameter in Groove Machine and then to any control on your MIDI device. Once you've linked a control knob to a parameter, they stay locked together. To route a control knob, click the Link button. Move the control knob, then move a parameter on Groove Machine. Notice that the orange light next to knob 1 is now on. This means the control knob is taken. Now we can link control knob 1 to a hardware controller. Now how you do this depends on the software you're using, but here's how to do it in Fruity Loops. Select Channel, then Add One, then Groove Machine. Now we can hook up the knob and the parameter just like before. Link, Knob, Parameter. Now select Tools, then Last Tweaked, then Link to Controller. Now touch the hardware control you want to use. The moment the MIDI signal is received, the floating window will disappear and you're hooked up. You also make connections using the value field window. This is where you link MIDI inputs if you want them to apply globally, even between different grooves. Click on the parameter you want to control. Then touch the hardware controller you want to use. To activate the connection, click this arrow. Now I can start playback and whenever I press key 72, the active part will go into solo, like this. And if I want to reroute key 72 to something else, like the one quarter stutter effect, just click the parameter, then press the key, and click the arrow. Now when I start playback, key 72 will trigger the one quarter stutter. And if I load up an entirely different groove, my hardware controller is still locked to the same effect. For more great software, visit the ImageLine online shop. And for more great tutorials, visit StreamWorksAudio.com.